Hello, welcome to my photo studio and to ProPhotoLight.com. One of the questions I get asked most often by ProPhotoLife readers is how do you shoot with your camera tethered to the computer so that the images go directly to the hard drive for viewing right on the computer monitor? With the Canon camera, it's not difficult to do. The Canon comes packaged with the software and the instructions necessary to shoot with the camera tethered to the computer. So we'll be doing the installation today using a Canon 5D and our laptop computer. Now all of the camera manufacturers are a little bit different in the way they execute this tethered operation. Some of them do include the software with the camera, like Canon. In the case of other brands, like Nikon, the software requires an additional purchase. There are a number of different softwares on the Canon EOS digital solution disk that came with the camera. The ones we're mainly considered with are EOS Capture that's going to allow us to capture the images directly to the laptop and also DPP, Digital Photo Professional, where we'll be viewing the images. Installation should be straightforward. Digital camera software install. And I'm going to choose the easy installation. With the latest software updates installed from the Canon website, I just looked up the camera model, Canon 5D, and looked up software updates. We're now ready to connect the camera using the USB cable supplied with the camera. We'll go ahead and turn that camera on. One thing you want to make sure of on the camera setting, there are two settings on this particular camera, and they're all just a little bit different. With the 5D, there's a place in the camera menu called communication and there's a choice of PTP printer or normal PC connection. We want to go with PC connection. Again, refer to your camera manual or software guide to figure out which is correct for your camera model. With that all set, we'll now launch the DPP program on the computer. Now we're ready to give it a try. I have the camera pointed toward me. It's turned on. We're going to go ahead and launch digital photo professional software. Here we go, and I'm going to go to Tools, Start EOS Utility. Up should pop EOS Capture, the capture we're going to use to control the camera. And here it is. With this little window, we can fire the camera with the camera icon. We can set all the camera controls, our aperture, shutter speed, whether we want RAW, our exposure compensation, or we can also fire the camera from the shutter button, as you've seen me do in the Pro Photo Life videos. Actually, while I have this open, I'm going to go to File, Preferences, and I'm going to create a new folder to shoot to. Under Destination Folder, I can browse, and I'll make a new folder, and I'll call it Tether Test. And I'm also going to select Edit Image Window so that I get a large icon when we shoot the photograph. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click the button. And there we are. We have fully tethered shooting. I can also take a look straight into the camera and use the camera shutter button. It's kind of dim in here. We have a slow shutter speed. But there we go. Fully tethered shooting, and it was just that simple. A couple of additional points about tethered shooting. I don't think you're going to be happy very long with that little four-foot USB cord that came with the camera. So we do use extensions. We use a standard USB extension of about 10 feet most usually. It's a regular old USB 2 extension with a male and a female end. Now, most guidelines say that you don't want to have a USB cable of total length over 15 feet or so. So we use the 10-foot cable in connection with the 4-foot supplied cable for a total of about 14 feet. I'll go ahead and put this cable in between and that'll give us quite a bit of additional room to work with. Though we are at the recommended maximum cable length, we can add an additional cable by using this USB 2 cable with what's called a repeater on it. This amplifies and cleans up the signal so that additional length can be used. So by using this 16 foot length with our existing now 14 foot length, we have 30 feet where we can move freely about the studio. It really comes in handy, and we've had absolutely no problems with this particular setup. A couple of other little points I'd like to mention have to do with the safety of your photo and your computer equipment. 
where these couplings are put together, it is possible to unhook them. You can loop them like this and join them so that they don't pull apart. They can be taped together. That's okay to do. It's personal preference. But I really like to keep just the straightforward connection on them so that if they do get stepped on or pulled or tugged, they do pull apart. I have seen computers tugged off of the computer stand or the uh, connection on the camera damaged when one of these was pulled abruptly. So again, I just like to keep it so that these connections pull apart easily. With that said, we do treat the connection on the camera just a little bit differently. If this gets pulled or tugged, we run the risk of damaging the USB cable where it goes into the camera, or far worse, the actual camera connection. And I have seen those damaged. So what we do is we create a very loose loop and then tie a loose knotted loop into the cable and drape it lightly over something on the tripod. I've seen cables tugged to the point where it may move the tripod slightly, but it's not going to risk damaging that delicate electrical connection. So that's an introduction to shooting tethered with your Canon camera. As I've mentioned, it's very similar for the other camera models. You may end up having to purchase software. It may not be supplied with your particular camera model. But I hope this has taken a little bit of the mystery out of it. I hope you're willing to look online for additional resources for your particular camera model. And I hope to collect some more on ProphotoLife.com to help with the different specific camera models. So thanks always for watching. I appreciate seeing you here, and I hope to see you again next time. <laughs>